If you have been touched by tragedy, it was likely the worst day of your life. For firefighters, that could be any given day, and those moments can be repeated over and over throughout a career, sometimes taking an emotional toll with horrific consequences. Our colleague Philip Palmer has the story of what's happening and what's being done to halt a devastating trend. Whether it's a house fire, a car accident, or even a helicopter crash that claimed nine lives, what firefighters see and experience over time can take a toll. Research shows PTSD and depression rates for firefighters can be five times higher than the civilian population. Just last year, more than twice as many firefighters committed suicide than died while on duty. In fact, every year since 2014, reported suicides outpace on-duty deaths for firefighters. The Firefighter Behavioral Health Alliance actually believes the number could be worse. It estimates that only 40% of suicides are actually reported. And if that's true, the 154 reported suicides in 2015 would be closer to 385 nationwide. When he went on children, it just tore him up. Billy Johnson worked for L.A. County Fire for over 20 years, earning the Medal of Valor for saving a young girl from a burning building. Sadly, he took his life in 2017. He would see every patient that he went on from the first patient to the last patient, and that list would just grow and grow over the years. And so every time he fell asleep, he would see that. Rich Tucker's story was different but had the same ending. A firefighter with L.A. City Fire for 18 years, Rich had a stroke, and his doctor told him he would never be a firefighter again. He was weeping and said, that's what I am, is a fireman. That's who I am. Stories like these drive the combined efforts of firefighting agencies to better address the mental health of firefighters. For a culture of people who often see asking for help as a sign of weakness, removing the stigma attached to behavioral health is crucial. It's been ingrained in us that we are the fixer. We are supposed to fix everybody's problems. The problem is that we have a little bit of hard time being the one that allows us to be fixed when we have issues. Across the country, there's now a proactive approach to mental health through education like this clinic in Arcadia, teaching firefighters what to be aware of to help themselves and each other. It takes a firefighter to talk with another firefighter and to be able to um, deliver our service through peers, through firefighters who've received our training. Um, it's it's the way to, uh, to be effective. I think that if my husband could do that, any of these firemen could do it. I would love this not to be such a stigma behind it. And if we could save a family, then we can save a family. And one family is good enough for me. Philip Palmer, um, ABC 7 Eyewitness family. News. If you or someone you know is thinking about suicide, there is help available. Call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. The number is 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALK. And if you're a firefighter and want peer support, you can go to abc7.com for information.